a little more interesting because it ain't really no real battles to talk about. Niggas is like playing taps and like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas is cool, smiling, niggas ain't beefing. <laughs> Face-offs is friendly, niggas is all cool with each other, and it's like, this shit getting weird. When you start rapping like that, hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Shout out to my guy, Showtime SP, and everybody that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. I don't just say that, I mean that. You could be watching a hundred thousand other channels, but you're here. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people will send me a clip from a blog or from what someone said. Yo, did you hear the. Don't send me no clips. I don't care about what nobody did. Washed. They did them just like that, you hear that? That's the lawnmower. We still cutting the grass out here with these snake ass niggas. We still cutting the grass. You know what I'm saying? That's what you hearing. But yeah, he got chopped all the way up. How about that? You're here. Why does this matter? But I think people do that sometimes, try to get a reaction. How am I getting a reaction? But you'll never get one. We don't care. We don't care. But I was just saying that to say this. It's a lot going on in battle rap. Uh, Cassidy, shout out to Cassidy, the energy. He has an interview on Hip Hop Is Real. You should go check it out where he's talking about a lot of things. And y'all know, y'all know, y'all know when Cassidy talks, we listen. You know what I'm saying? His face-offs is the best part. Cassidy's face-offs is the best, one of the best things in battle rap. The way he's able to talk his shit and the way he's able to get under people's skin, it's in the bag. You know what I'm saying? Um, he was talking about some of the things that's going on in battle rap, and the reason why I'm talking about it is because not only does Cassidy have platinum records, not only does he have gold records, he's a hip hop, you know, uh, he does, he did his thing in hip hop. He's a hip hop. He was a hip hop star. He came on in 2003. Uh, he came the the hotel. It don't get no better. Then he jumped in his bag. Uh, bang! I'ma spray him when I see him. I pump all day from the AM to the PM. Nigga got beef. I'ma spray him when I see him. Lay him when I see him. Oh, hop out the Bronco and OJ him when I see him. Like, come on, y'all niggas act like that's the thing about Cass. A lot of y'all act like y'all ain't y'all ain't listen to Cass. You crazy. When he was on the when he was on the radio, when I put you on my hit list, you'll walk around wearing football equipment, the freeway battle. Like, come on, this is Cass. So he's in his bag talking this shit, and hip hop is real. Now, hip hop is real. It's messy as hell. They are messy. I don't care what nobody says. They ask the questions that's gonna get the answers. Don't ask, don't get messy with me, please. When I say He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. So y'all, I don't want no interviews. Salute to y'all. I salute y'all and everything that y'all do. But y'all niggas is not about to put me in no titles, remixing name, remixing title. I'm good. I just seen Caution going back and forth with them yesterday about the way they title shit and captions and, uh, and photos and all that. Salute to Hip Hop is real, but y'all messy as fuck. I like it though. I like it. Don't get it twisted. It's provocative. It gets the people going. If something happens in Battle Rap, they gonna go around and ask everybody about this shit. <laughs> What? The next event? They gonna be, so yo, what you think about the whole uh, gym situation? Yo. What kind of shit is it? Yo, man, head ice gonna be on there. Yo, man, I feel like it was disrespectful. Do, 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 do. They ain't do that. But it's, you know, it, it's provocative. It gets the people going. So shout out to Hip Hop is Real. Y'all messy as fuck, but I get it. Um, they asked Jazz about the easy and URL situation and why, uh, how he feels. And Cass said the right answer. So that's why, you know what I mean, easy getting attention. That's why niggas want to hear about what's going on, because finally somebody's showing like they got some type of backbone or something and believe in themselves and can even just do whatever. Like, you know, who knows how this shit gonna go? I ain't saying it's the best result, because, you know, having a backbone come with a lot. Like, you know what I'm saying? And you got to deal with what it come with. And be prepared to do. Yo, everybody tripping, but <laughs> Easy got a backbone. Like, there's nothing wrong with showing, like, going to war with people. Y'all are so enraged and, oh my God, Easy left URL. Oh my goodness, he'll never be the same. Really? Who gives a fuck? It's a battle league. If it don't work over here, it'll work somewhere else. What did I say? What did I say? 
if you cooking, they booking. Has this nigga have a, had a problem? Has he had a problem getting booked since he left URL? Has he had a problem? No. This is the first time we've really seen an artist go to war with URL like this on this capacity. It is what it is. Like, URL is just one lead. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like, they're not God. You can go to war with record labels, you can go to war with other artists, you can go to war with the fucking government. Chrome, Chrome. A uh, GTX trenches. The nigga ain't got no problem getting booked. You know why you ain't got no problem getting booked? Cause he's cooking. It's you niggas that don't got no motion, don't get put on no cards, have to do what somebody else says that have a problem. That's the reason why. So if you make yourself hot, you don't have to rely on nobody. All right, so let's keep it going. So Cass is basically like, yo, he not feeling the whole premise or the energy going on in battle rap right now. Uh, battle rap, you feel like battle rap is too friendly. I didn't really talk about. Uh, the video with them playing taps and shit like the Harlem Globetrotters and shit like that. Uh, I really ain't talk about it because I really didn't care. But it take it does take away from some of the competitive aspect. I was used to we a lot of us grew up on seeing battles where you ain't know if these niggas was gonna fight. You ain't know if somebody was gonna get stabbed. You ain't know if somebody was gonna get shot. You ain't even know if the battle was gonna end. That type of shit. We used to see, we wanna see killers. We wanna see people come to the ring that wanna smoke each other, that don't give a fuck about, like, how much, and I said that before in another blog. How much beef can niggas have, or how, how crazy can a battle get, and how intense can it be if niggas hang out every week? Every three, four weeks, they in the same city, same state, smiling, giggling, laughing, having a good time. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I just feel like a lot of the competitive aspect and competitive nature in this shit is not there right now. It ain't. It ain't. You can't sit and eat steak and champagne and smile and take pictures and play taps and then show up and talk about they try to kill a nigga. I mean, yeah, they came with the bars, but it just doesn't happen that way. So he's basically saying the energy. And the thing is, I might not agree with everything that Cassidy says, but I do I, I do agree with this. I'm not gonna lie, it really ain't. Dude. He said the face-offs is friendly and everybody's you know shucking and, and being happy and shit. And there's nothing wrong with that, but you have to deal with the fans' uh, reaction. So he talked about not just that, he talked about the Reed situation with Reed battling and Easy. He felt like Easy basically was cherry picking. Got an easy win, per se, uh, by taking a legend who really ain't really focused on battle rap no more. Reed be out in the woods, he be hunting, driving his RV, the nigga be in Utah, and the Arizona reserves, and way up in the Mohegan spray. He be everywhere, he don't be in the, he ain't in Philly. The ball ain't in Philly, he ain't in Philly. I know that much. He don't be, I mean, he'll come out there, take a picture or two, do a video, you know, do an event, giving him some daps and shit, you know what I'm saying, going by his way, and as, at a point where Reed is at in his career right now, you should see, I regard to Reed as a legend, but I don't regard to him as like, a, I mean, like current, active. Like he's active battling, but I don't refer to him as somebody who if you put him on a card across from somebody, he's a threat. Like I feel like he'll come in there, he gives serviceable performances. He's not bad, you know what I'm saying? He, he's not bad, I don't think he's bad. He's doing serviceable, you know what I'm saying? He gets the job done, he's gonna show up with three rounds, he don't really be choking and shit like that. He pulled out a phone in one battle, but I mean, was it a big K battle? Yeah, he pulled out a phone. But uh, for the most part, he's had a smooth ride since the, uh, I feel like Briss, I don't want to murder no more. When he battled Rum Nitty and he battled Surf. He beat Nitty. That nigga beat Nitty. A lot of y'all can't beat Nitty, but Reed did. You go back and watch the motherfucker. I remember recapping that shit. Uh, he had a, a serviceable battle with Surf. I feel like Surf beat him, you know what I'm saying? But he said, I'm an alien. He said, rock splash over the wave. He said, I'm an alien, monster size, hit his area with 51, everything in the, we used to rap like that nigga. Yeah, yeah, he made my slogan, so I can never be bad at Reed. But Cassidy wasn't feeling the fact that uh, Easy kind of took somebody who was pretty much a, a easy Vic. You know what I mean? When, especially when there's so many other people out there that he hasn't battled yet. I respected that too, but I respect the business though. If Reed wanted to do it, Easy got him for the price that he wanted to, and the nigga came in battle. And to some, me included, he won around. <laughs> Reed ain't get dirty. <laughs> to me, hey, 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 it is what it is. It's my opinion, right? But I didn't think he got smoked like that. I felt like he lost, but he probably got the. He probably got the first. Lord, he probably got the first. Jesus send the flood. These niggas can't be easy. But Reed got the first. Jesus send the flood. Um. And then he goes on 
And Cass is just basically saying that, you know, the battle rap energy is not there, the shit is too friendly, uh, you know, that. And he was booked, Cass was booked to battle Freeway, like two, three years ago, the battle never happened. And Cass get paid more than damn near everybody in battle rap. There ain't an active battle rapper who could tell you I get paid more than Cass. None, not one. Sorry, it ain't happening. And then you got a battle versus Freeway booked and the battle never happened. Why? Because the fans' reaction. If the fans would have ate that up when it first dropped, yo, we can't wait to see this, yada, 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 they would have ushered that shit to the stage. But nobody wanted to see it. And everybody was like, boo. And then it didn't happen. That's a good move. Trust me, URL, that's great. That is a great move, not having that battle. We didn't want to see it. And not because of Cassidy, I'm sorry. Freeway, I fought with you and all. I think Freeway's even subscribed to my YouTube channel. Shout out to Freeway. But it's just... We wanted to let bygones be bygones. So we bygones, then bygones, then a bygone. I think Daylight said some shit like that. Bygones be bygones. But anyway, um, lastly, where's Ace Amin versus, uh, versus uh, Rum Nitty? Is that happening? Is that happening? Is that happening? I've been hearing too many rumbles and rumors about them potentially battling, supposed to be on Summer Madness and shit like that. I hope it does. Cause these guys, they promoted the, f they promoted. Promoted, promoted. They promoted so much that they deserve that look. I think they should get that look. I don't see why they shouldn't. They promote it like a motherfucker. And Rum Nitty's a nigga that you should have on Summer Madness. Rum Nitty battling every week. He battled Young Grizz. Uh, he got he battled Oppa. You got this nigga battling every. He battling everybody. I think he battling right now. He might be battling against the L in a week from now. This nigga battling every week. But Rum Nitty has been super consistent and. Anybody that he battled against, you're kind of picking him to win. I can't even remember the last battle that Rum Nitty had that I didn't pick him to win. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm literally, like, more than likely, if there's a battle coming up, you're probably going to pick him to win because he's able to. I think it was probably Twerk, which was probably, it was like five, four or five years ago, maybe. There's probably some other ones in there, but I'm thinking, like, the most clear one in my mind was probably twerk because you know twerk was twerk and it was the volume the small room and i'm over the body with the hoodie down and all that shit small intestine small intestine you know what i'm saying you know how that shit be going so um but i think he should rumney deserves that look and url needs the star power on the stage i'm saying there's some guys on there on the card that stars not tripping they got some good battles on there Cass is back in the news uh, I do think Rum Nitty should be on Summer Madness. I do think he should get Ace I mean, spice up the card, make it a little bit better. I had heard rumblings about Gishi Gotti versus Rex, but I don't know if that's going to happen, I'm going to be honest with you. Because uh, I've been hearing like mad shit about mad shit, and then Gishi just popped up with a battle versus Oppa. So he got <sighs> Oppa, Coffee, Oppa, uh, Coffee, uh, Easy. And potentially Rex in like a couple months span and he just about shout out to Geechee Gotti the, 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 the probably hardest working man in battle rap if not one of them um, we gonna see where that goes but uh you know it's a Tuesday hope all is well with y'all out there you know what I'm saying we keep it strong we'll have to keep it long you know what I mean we keep it pause 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 I don't like that we Nigga. the nerve of you <laughs> you know disrespect like ain't doing that Pause, 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 pause for the car. But we kind of grown, but still, you get what I'm saying. Um, other than that, salute to every single one of y'all. But Cass is back <laughs> again. But this is the 40th iteration of Cassidy. Whenever he does an interview, this interviews Head Ice, Cassidy, T-Rex, top three. You don't miss their interviews. You don't miss their quotes about this bitch game.